Yo, what is going on, you smallish Silvella? Today we're playing some games with uh, T Mad Party. I just call it Tea Party. Mad Party. This is like Turbo Mad Party. This is Daniel Altavilla's take on a very aggressive Mad Party list. Uh, the thing that really gives it the aggression is the Duskull with the Spiritborn uh, Evolution, which allows us to discard three cards from our hand. And then we also play Rose Tower, which if we have uh, less than three cards in hand, or we can draw up until we have three cards in our hand. Um, so we have, to have less than three, draw you know up to three. We could have zero, we could have two, draw one card, draw three cards. Um, it's a very turbo list. And first when I saw it, I was like, eh, I don't know about this. But then I played with it a little bit on my stream a couple days ago. Twitch.tv slash AzulGG. Check out the live stream, guys. First link in the description below. I stream there every single day right now, uh, including Mondays, which I usually say I usually don't stream on Mondays. But I'm streaming on Mondays even. So check it out. Twitch.tv slash AzulGG. First link in the description. Click it. Go follow. Um, doing a bunch of stuff over there. Bunch of new decks with the new set. Giveaways of new cards as well. So you want to get in on that? Got to go over there. Um, but yeah, pretty turbo list. Two to Dene, one Crobat. Um, a lot of item cards. We got Acrobikes, Treasures, Quick Balls, Great Balls, Incense even. U-turn boards for a little bit of mobility. We actually only play five attackers in this deck. So against other one prize decks, it can get pretty sketchy actually. And it's not great for us. But if we play against multi prize decks, which is the majority of decks right now, it actually works out pretty well. It works out just fine for us. And um, I, I really don't have too much. I don't really have anything. It's, it's Mad Party. Turbo list, only one Senesti. We can only evolve into one uh, Poltygeist. The bu the bunny is our main attacker for the most part. Capped at five attackers. The Rose Tower Duskull thing is pretty cool. I know you guys might not be thinking it's that great, but trust me, that's what I thought until I played some games with it. And then it turned out to be way better. It's the best. This is the best Mad Party list that I played with so far. Uh, I played with a couple different ones, a Checkmate Mad Party, some other builds that I started working with, but this has been the best Mad Party list I played with so far. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's get into some games and I'll show you how it runs All right getting into our first game here. We got that uh, more shadow start the rest of the hand pretty good actually Can chain out some uh, treasures here Thin out some then get the rose tower. We got a quick ball. We have a twin energy So I have to decide if I want to quick ball for crowbat or to Dene or if I want to rely on Rose Tower to get me out of this situation into something to draw cards and get the Twin Energy in play, which is like one of the most important things to get in play early to uh, get an attack off early. And I think I'm going to go that route. We're going to go Treasure Away Mr. Rhyme, get to Dene, Treasure Away to Dene, uh, to Dene, or actually we want to leave the Poltegeists in the deck. We can quick ball for those. No, I'll probably get rid of the probably get rid of the Denes here. Keep the Poltegeist in the deck. Because I want to be able to evolve our one Sinestia into a Poltegeist theoretically soon. We're up against the Eternity's VMAX deck. All right. Fine matchup. Oh, but there's a bunny. So now we're gonna now we're gonna switch it up here. Like this. Dene. Quick ball. Dene. Grab uh the Dene. Or treasure to Dene. Quick ball. The Dene. Grab ourselves the. Let me start with the Crobat here, to be honest. Or. Yeah, start with Crobat. We'll have a zero card hand, so. Go Bunnelby, Tatch, Rose Tower. Um, I think I'll Crobat before Rose here. Because we can still Duskull to get really low in the hand and then go from there. There's the U turn board. There's a hop. Oh my gosh, it's looking good, folks. Alright, we need one more in the discard pile. So let's start with Acro. Grab the Sin I like the research here. Oh, that's our attacker though. We need the Sinesti. We need the Sinesti. I was about to give him up. Nope. Acro. Great ball. Uh, I think I'll Hapu first and then Great Ball afterwards. This is a good Hapu here. That is three three goons going away. That's real good. If you didn't know. That goes down. Uh Great Ball next. Gonna get the Ulti guys to evolve on the Sinesti. U turn board. Treat. And then, uh. Mad Party. Knockout. We got the Marshadow to bump the Black Market at some point, which will probably come around. Uh, we definitely want to get rid of that. We got a quick ball for another uh, bunny next turn. And we'll check if our second triple is in the deck or not. And kind of, that'll dictate how we're gonna play out our next turn. We do have two, both our bosses orders are left. Um, we do wanna hit this as hard as possible, but we don't have to hit it like, we can two hit KO it basically. Uh, a lot of Hoopas from our opponent. Uh, they could actually hit us with the power accelerator this turn if they wanted to, uh, which would be a little bit annoying. Not gonna lie, that'd be, that'd be a tad annoying if they power accelerated. Got that knockout with Zigzagoon. 
I actually almost feel like it's better if they went with the VMAX here, because I could definitely knock this thing out next turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'd get the knockout on the thing, no problem, next turn. So we'll see what they go for here. They got the Zigzagoon off the Great Ball. Probably going to ping our Bonnaby. No, pinging my Sinesti. Oops. Don't knock on my Sinesti, please. Please don't knock on my Sinesti. Please don't knock on my Sinesti with Zigzagoons. Let's we'll see how many goons are our opponents. Some people play heavy goons. Some people play a little lighter on the goons. I personally play pretty light on goons. I'm not a huge heavy goon fan there's the black market but we got the marsh shadow for that another eternatus is coming down leave my synesty alone oh no research how many more goons are gonna get involved there's already one in the discard pile i can't afford to lose synesty right now <sighs> fail on the great ball okay that's good i mean a net plus another zigzag goon and that that's it our synesty's out of business cooked cleaned up Ooh. hmm Absol does mean we can't retreat the Marsh Shadow with it, so we have to go with the Sinesti send up here. But I can pop the Stadium and get the U-turn board to put on our Sinesti and save it for later. So we can do it like this. So we're gonna go send up Sinesti, draw for turn to Dene. All right, resetting hole, bump, get the U-turn board back. Um, Altigeist, quick ball away. Great catcher check for our second triple it is here so we're gonna go for the one will be here we're gonna u-turn board the active because after all increases the retreat cost on basic pokemon win energy and then i could data change but putting two two prizes into in play doesn't seem as good as not doing that so we're just gonna not do that um seems better to not do that if you know what i'm saying um start with some great balls gonna start thinning out the deck here get the duskull another great ball have the mr rhyme uh evo incense i want to get another i just want to thin out the deck as much as possible here before i tea break because i want to tea break into better cards um we might dust here we'll see what we draw definitely not dust but i will put it in play um uh, we got uh, doing 160 could give it a two poltergeist and the dene or i could just retreat bench another bundle b just to have it there and mad party that seems a little bit better to me i'm down with that we got the boss to bring this thing back into the active and take the knockout on the next turn if we want to um and then we could look for our last boss and boss a crowbat i mean if this just stays in the active we could also just knock it out but i'm sure they don't want to attack with this they probably want to attack with a hoopa so we could go knock out hoopa next turn instead um yeah we could knock out the hoopa next turn instead it, they, they do play the nets so it is possible for them to actually knock out Ooh, my skull has got 40 this guy's only got 40 hp too yeah, they do play the nets <laughs> so they probably play four net which is i mean it's a lot of net um maybe i shouldn't have benched this bunny to be honest but then they could have gone after the duskull anyways maybe i shouldn't have benched either of them to be honest i probably shouldn't have benched either of them just like not benched either of them now i might want to get really aggressive here and just go oh no i think they got the knockout that's not good man that's a lot of nets yeah i probably shouldn't have benched either of them to be honest if i wasn't going to use them um maybe the whiff yeah, we should go for the boss boss play though here. They're just setting it up to knock it out with a what's it called on the next turn. Okay. All right, this is fine. I'm fine with this. Boom, send up this. Draw. All right, another. Take a tea break real fast. Uh, quick ball away one. Get another bunny into play. There's a twin energy and a boss left in the deck. Bench. Treasure away. T guy, nothing left in the deck. All right, twin here, boss here. Treat, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done it like this now. Cause now when I do this mad party attack, actually they can discard their two prize Pokemon. All right, I shouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> I should have knocked out a two prize right now and then cleaned up that for my last prize card. So what I should have done is boss knock out an Eternatus, leave this guy in play. Because now they actually get to discard Pokemon off their bench, which is not good for us. So they can discard this Crobat and this, leave this to make it into a VMAX, uh, and then we're kind of in trouble. But I definitely messed up. I messed up big time on that, not gonna lie. All right, next time we get into scenario, gonna do it a little bit different. <laughs> Should have done it the other way around. Should have took the two prizes this turn, left them with a full bench. It's a new situation that I haven't seen come up yet. I've seen it come up a couple times on my side, did not consider it in this situation. Definitely could have played around it. We'll play around it in the future. My bad. Here comes the goon to knock out my Bunnelby. Uh, but actually, in this situation, I can set up Crobat. Uh, but we don't have a way to retreat Crobat. I could set up Crobat, and they wouldn't be able to knock out Crobat, though. 
Um, I'm just gonna feed him the Duskull. That's fine. Um, but yeah. And you guys can take that knowledge with you as well. Don't, when you want their bench to stay as it is, if you can hold off on knocking out the Eternatus VMAX, do that. Don't knock out Eternatus VMAX. But it looks like we actually might get them anyways. They don't have a VMAX for this Eternatus. All right, that's clean. We'll get the dub anyways here. Just gotta go through it. T-break. One more. Uh, acro. I guess I could have just dead a changed, right? Into the... Yeah, I could have just dead a changed into it, right? Yeah, so go attach, dead a change. We know my last boss is in there, so let's grab that. And yeah, there we go. Our opponent had a win condition. They could have removed this from play. They probably should have, to be honest. Um, they could. That would have made things awkward for me. That would have made things really awkward for me. Of course, they don't know our list. They don't know we don't have like much left to work with at all. <laughs> uh, only we know that. Uh, next time, don't KO the Eternatus VMAX. KO something else and then KO the Eternatus VMAX. Take notes. All right, into another one. We're gonna open up the Dust Call. It's kind of the best started up with. Our opening hand is pretty good, actually, because we can... Um, you know, open Great Ball, Evolution. We can get the Bundle B, put the Twin Energy on it, off the rip again. Donk this Eldegoss, no problem. Ready, here we go. Um, Great Ball first, because we just want a Pokemon. Trying to maximize damage here. Uh, get a Mr. Rhyme, because they're the worst. They're literally the worst, man. No one likes Mr. Rhyme. Quick Ball, ditch the Rhyme, the Bunny. Uh, save that because we're about a dead a change and then uh, yeah, go hard. Let's get uh, let's get a KO here All right, still fine. I got a little nervous at first, but we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. All right, so we're doing what? Uh, we're doing 140. We're trying to end the game this turn. So We want to get aggressive here Take the Dene Research trying to end the game this turn. We just need a U-turn board and like one dude all right, no U-turn board yet, but we can still get Crobat and then get a U-turn board. All right, so we can go give up the Dedene, get Crobat, get Poltegeist, uh, get Sinesti. Spiritborn Evolution, get rid of them. No Duskull. Robat for six. Give me a U-turn board one time. Quick ball. Another bunny for the future. Acrobike one time into it. No, so close. I gotta assume we were pretty close. Grab the research. Big whiff, big sad, big pass. No U-turn board. Both were in the deck, I think. Did I check? Maybe they were both prized. I think I checked. I think they were both in the deck. Our opponent gets to play the game. Unfortunately for us, uh, fortunate for them, I guess. And we're down what? Boss. That's really it. We didn't lose too much there, to be honest. We got four attackers to work with. Three bunnies, one pulty guys. Probably should have benched another bunnel be there. Um, one boss left to chase stuff. Our great catcher might be around. Our great catcher's still around. All right, that's good. They're playing some kind of fire deck, which means they're playing Welder, which means they're probably playing stage two Pokemon. Welder to the Goss is not good. So that's good for us. Um, bad for our opponent. Another, all right, Eldegoss is loaded. There's the float up. <laughs> I guess it means we get a dub as they shuffle their Eldegoss back into the deck. Hey, we'll take it, man. Didn't get the donk, but our opponent didn't get another basic Pokemon, so um, why not? All right, into another game we go. We got, ooh, this time we got the Bunnelby start. Oh, but they chose to go first, so that's not good for us. Let's see what they're playing. Yeah, that's not, that's not, it feels like that's never a good sign. Playing Senna Scorch. Okay, so they want to go off that Baby Volcano turn, which can also, unfortunately, knock out our Bundle Beam. Never lucky. The Rhyme to the Hand. We want to top like another Bundle Beam. Ooh, perfect. Don't want to attach to the active one. We can attach to the bench one. All right. Get rid of some of this junk. Gonna get ourselves, uh, Sinesti. Probably the Duskull as well. Uh, no, probably just Sinesti here, actually. And then Hold. Could have got a Duskull, but it doesn't seem necessary. I'd rather hold on to the hand right here. Um, attach the bench, get the, the energy in play ahead of time. Oh, draw I guess we could have held the energy as well, theoretically. But um, a lot of Center Scorch Cats, a lot of Center Scorch Cats do play uh, Marnie. So I don't want it to lose it to a Marnie. Most Center Scorch Cats that I've seen play Marnie. I don't know if I like the Marnies, but they do play them, so I have to play around them. Um, so having the energy in play is definitely more beneficial than that. Don't attach to the active though, because then they could weld into a Volcanion, you know, knock out our active or something. As we see, they get the Volcanion right there. 
eat energy. A little bit tankier. This should be no problem for a bundle. So our prizes are going to come from... Also, getting this energy in play means if we top deck an energy, we don't lose that energy, which is good. Um, so our prizes are probably going to come from knocking out Volcanion. Oh, there's another Dedenne. Uh, Volcanion, Scorch, and... Damn, two Welder down. Um, and then a Dedenne. Dedenne, Volcanion, Scorch. V max. Um, as they're gonna go set up the Center Scorch V right here. Um, so knock out this thing. Gotta remember to cut that plus 20. That's super relevant uh, for me to remember. Um, and then probably knock out this guy when he becomes a V Max. And then bring up a Denny with Great Catcher or Boss or something. Clean up the game like that. There's the research. Damn, three Welder down. Okay. That's a lot of Welder gone. All right. That's fine. Uh, heat energy gone. They don't need a lot of energy to KO my dude, so it's really not that big of a deal for them, to be honest. But, I mean, in any other matchup, they'd be like, oh my goodness, all the welders are gone. Can't use them. This matchup is more like, eh, you still only got 40 HP, bunny. You're fine. Another Pulte guys. Interesting top tech. All right. So we are hitting for... Not enough. I'm going to grab... Eh, grab the Duskull. I like to be able to thin out the hand. It could be the difference maker to get enough thing in, in the discard pile as well. Give us something different to do. I think I like it here. All right. Got a triple, which I do want to use, I think. Got that at NA. Start with, how many damage, how much damage are we gonna do? 10. Uh, we're not there yet, so I'm gonna start with the Acrobike. Then out the research, I guess. Go into the Great Ball. Grab the Marsh Shadow. They could play Wonders Labyrinth. So I'm going to bench the Marshadow here. Quick ball away to Denning. Grab A to Denning. Let's see, there's two U-turn board in the deck. I really want to use this triple. So I'm going to attach a triple. Uh, dead it change. And we're going to kind of just like hope we draw into the U-turn board here. We got a good chance. Here. We got a good chance here. All right. Great ball. Grab another Mr. Rhyme. Quick ball away. Mr. Rhyme. Grab A to Dene. And then we... Get into the Acrobikes. Acrobike number one, U-turn board. Uh, do we keep going? Yeah, sure, why not? Acrobike number two. Rose Tower. Acrobike number... Should I have done this first, actually? Can't even... I actually don't even know. We might be able to use this. Let's take it. Draw some cards. And yeah, maybe I should have started with this, to be honest. I don't know for sure. I can't... I couldn't tell you. Couldn't, couldn't see it. Um... If this doesn't get the knockout here, okay, yeah. 160? 160. All right. I better get the knockout. Down zero boss. There's a boss. That's great to see. So, yeah, our game plan is got to knock out a couple couple Senna Scorch now. Um, or a Senna Scorch. Two a KO Senna Scorch. They might not. Okay, they did. I was going to say they might not V Max it. They did V Max it. Um, so, knock out the big Senna Scorch. I'm um, not sure we can Duskull away the triple, the research, and the Dene. Um, then we got to chase it to Dene, and that's our that's gonna be our game plan. So we're gonna go. It would have been nice to have the Hapu here, actually. I forget what I took over the Hapu, but I maybe should have taken the Hapu instead. I think I took the Rose Tower over the Hapu. Hapu would have been really great to set up the rest of the game, really thin out our deck, get it set up to to close out the game from here. Probably should have done that. V Max Inferno. Yeah, get rid of the triple now. I can't use the triple anymore. We only play one Sinesti, so. Uh, Bunny to the active. Thin out the deck with the Duskull. Thin out the hand with the Duskull. Another Bunny goes down. Attach. We gotta keep the boss around is the main thing here. So we're just gonna go. Are those do that extra twenty damage? Take nothing. Rose. And mad party swinging. How much are we hitting? 180, 200, 200. Not bad, not bad. Two hundred again next turn. Easy knockout. Unless they heal a lot of damage, then I would be a little bit scared. They'd have to heal a lot. But I'm, we're feeling good. Ooh, attach, boss, Rose Tower back into play again and draw three more. Get closer to that great catcher or second boss to KO the Dene win the game. And then that's game. Then we win. And the game is over and our opponent loses. Pretty great situation we're in right now. Just need to find that other gust effect. We already have the energy. Energy's all locked up here. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. That second U-turn board in the deck as well. So I don't think you get trapped. All right. Good, good. All right, go, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter which bunny we set up. I can set up the fresh one. Sure, why not? Draw. Spot. All right. U-turn. 
they did not they did not retreat their their center scorch we don't have to boss but i will i will rose tower for one i'll play this incense as well grab this guy yeah i'm not gonna lie i expected him to retreat i was already playing i was a, i almost played my boss's orders i was so much in the zone of they're gonna switch or retreat that when they they didn't i still almost played my boss's orders but i caught myself at the end there that much better Ooh, and we got the great catcher out of the prize card see i told you guys it looked the list looked a little weird off the rip right a little strange a little unsettling maybe even but uh once we get into a game bro it's 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 pretty insane what this list can do um it's pretty it's pretty crazy <laughs> it's pretty crazy what this list can do uh like i said definitely the best mad party list i played with so far it does what you want the deck, what you think the deck should be able to do, what you think you'd want the deck to do. Be super aggressive, single prize attacking deck, taking big knockouts very fast. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool deck, man. Big charm, doesn't matter. We're killing your today, man. Just give me my turn. I guess a reset stamp. Nope, there it is. Goodbye, Dedene. Great catcher, knockout. Funny, right? Oh, yeah. Great catcher. Bring me the Dedene. And Mad Party knock out Dedene. And that's going to do it for these games with the Mad Party deck. Like I said, dang Alta Villa's Mad Party list. I didn't think it would do anything. And then I played some games with it over on the live stream. Twitch.tv slash GG. Check it out. And it was pretty good. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And peace.